she sells seashells by the seashore may be a tongue twister for many, but art enthusiasts will remember it as the final collection of paintings produced by the late Pat Bishop. Miss Bishop is the recipient of this country's highest national award, the Trinity Cross, and was one of the first female steel pan arrangers, often collaborating with Phase 2's musical director, Len Booksy Sharp. Fellow artist Ken Critchlow said women have an important role to play, not only in the subject of representation, but also as artists and art organizers. Art in Trinidad is going to continue to be female. Um, in terms of when I look at the cross-section of people who are going to be contributing to this trilogy of exhibitions, you know, graduates and present students at, the, um, at Bishop Ansi, I think it's going to be a remarkable thing. This is a, going to be a historic uh, few months. Students from Bishop Anstey High School who attended the exhibition said elements of Miss Bishop's paintings are used in their work, adding it was important to have female representation for the benefit of young artists. As art students, we all draw inspiration from Pat Bishop's pieces. We mirror after her and we practice some of her techniques in our artwork. And I think it's very important for female artists to be recognized, especially since many female artists are just as good and better than some male artists out there. So I think it's great that this exhibition is being held and all of these up-and-coming female artists like my friends and I can see it. The exhibition was hosted in collaboration with the Palm Foundation, which was developed to preserve, promote and sustain the legacy of Miss Bishop. Chairman of the Foundation, Martin Daly SC, said the exhibition will reinforce the potency of Trinidad and Tobago as a unique cradle of arts and culture. Miss Bishop was an art educator at her alma mater, Bishop Anstey High School, and musical director of the Lydian's Choir. Her exhibition is the first of three, which will also feature work by Sybil Atek and Nina Squires. Kimberly D'Souza, TTT News.